What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in on today's video. I'm Gabe and today we're gonna to be doing a POV install and vlog of these Oracle Lighting Premium LED tail light afterburners for the 2010 through 2013 Camaro SS's or V6 models. And of course, at the end of the video, you'll see my 2010 Camaro SS with these lights installed and we'll get some cinematic shots of that. So without further ado, let's get started guys. First thing you'll definitely need is a Dremel because you're gonna use that to uh, cut open the tail lights. So that's a very useful tool. And of course, with a saw on it, you'll need a drill because you're gonna actually have to drill into the tail light. I don't know the exact size of this drill bit, but uh, you'll be needing one of those. You don't wanna make it too small, the hole. You'll need some tape and that's gonna really be to help seal the tail lights once you've actually gone ahead and cut it put in the new lights as i'll explain in the in in the future you of course need some silicone adhesive and sealant uh, this is what i am going to be using for this job you can do it by hand although typically you'll use this like gun over here and of course to load it up it's fairly easy and then you'll definitely need a wrench and a socket it's going to be a 10 millimeter socket you'll see later on why we're going to be using a 10 millimeter socket here's a battery this battery we're actually going to be using it to test to see if they work because what you don't want to do is install the lights glue everything back on and then realize that the the lights are defective from the uh, factory and this is another tool and it's going to be an epoxy once you've actually like opened the tail light you're actually going to put some like little dots where the m tape would go and that's actually going to serve as a as a better way of welding or actually um sticking oh and i forgot to mention that there's going to be this little baggie here uh that comes with the t connectors and the butt connectors here these are super important because they're like specific not specific to the product but usually in stores you will only find them in blue I speak from experience because they did not come originally with the Oracle packaging, so I had to ask them to send it. If you're gonna do this job, make sure that it is in red. So the first thing you're gonna do is make sure that the trunk is open. On the left and right side, you'll find a plastic cover that goes above the tail light. So what you're gonna wanna do is remove these rivets here. Uh, you should have a third one here, but I actually broke this one and that one in a, in a previous uh, venture that I did. So let's go ahead and start removing this. And what you want to do is actually pop the little pin here and it'll come straight out. And then sometimes you'll pop the pin directly and all you need really is to just pop the rest of it out. Okay, so both the lids are off. The headlight housing is exposed. You can see some of the cables there. There's actually a little spider web there. Interesting. So in order to get the actual uh, tail light out of this housing, we actually have to remove these two bolts here. And I think there's a third one down there. We also have to disconnect the bulb and remove this chrome piece. And we're gonna take that 10 millimeter socket because that's the measurement that we need for this, for these bolts here. The most important thing in this step is to make sure that this chrome piece does not snap. Carefully, just carefully push out from up here, from the tool on the side and the two on the bottom. One thing that I found to be extremely useful is the use of a screwdriver. So here with your finger, you wanna keep it on here, kind of like push inward and pry just a little bit. Careful not to go too aggressively. Just carefully. There you go. So this is it guys. This is how it looks like when you take it out. Might do a chrome delete at a different time, but uh, let's go ahead and show you how that works. In fact, the tail light will actually just slide right out at this point. So let's go ahead and get the other four tail lights out. So in order to get to this one is actually extremely difficult. If you have like a longer wrench, that's actually gonna be very useful. So basically what you would wanna do 
is you're gonna wanna cut right along the edges here. And I'm gonna try to get it very closely with the, so it's gonna be right here. This is the actual housing, and then this little area right here, this little trench, right? This little trench area right here, you're gonna wanna cut as close to the black part as possible. So you're just gonna wanna do this. As you can see, there's actually some original seal from when they were assembling the tail lights, so it's pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and uh, start the cutting process. Oh, and I almost forgot, you wanna use some goggles because you're gonna be kicking up a lot of plastic and you don't want that in your eyes. So you can tell that you're making progress with the light if you start hearing like a hollow sound when you're cutting, look. So let's go ahead and finish up with this one and we'll continue further. This is how the inside looks like. We're gonna go ahead and clean this out just to you know, see it a little bit better. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start drilling into uh, the light as necessary. You definitely wanna make sure that the outside is clean, but at the same time, the inside is clean. <laughs> Wipe off all the shreds. If you actually have like the little canister that shoots like air, that's you know used for cleaning keyboards, I suggest you use that. The next part is gonna be the drilling. So you're gonna need the drill, obviously. You see how the light takes the shape of this part right here? Well, you're gonna wanna drill somewhere around here where it ends. And as close to the light as possible, but without obviously scratching it or breaking it. So I've actually already gone ahead and labeled it right there. That is the, you may not be able to see it on camera, but it's essentially right at the end of where like this little clear rainbow bow goes to this little arc here. That way the cables can run right through that and you don't have any problem with the placement. And what you don't want to do is if you, if it's too far out, like if it's too far over here, you're going to have the lights kind of like bend upwards like that and obviously over time it's going to fall apart so you want to make it as close to the light as possible but obviously not scratching it so let's go ahead and do so okay so there you have it guys i went ahead and drilled the hole it's a little bit to the right side but that's okay because this cable in particular does have some wiggle room and it should be more centered like should be around here what you want to do is actually get these little cables that are in here there's like a little pin in there so pop it like an, maybe like an earring like so you don't want to push down too much you just want to a little bit so like it unhinges there you go pass the cables through it red or black first it doesn't matter again this one's a little bit towards the right so actually you if you mess up like that you can move the hole just a little bit more look the size of the hole as long as you cover it up with silicone or the adhesive sealant to make sure that nothing goes in you should be fine all right so now guys you're going to put the epoxy in little dabs around the entire strip led strip and then you're going to go ahead and put it in place it is nice and taped there. It looks like it's not going to be moving anytime soon. There you go. You guys can barely see it on the GoPro, but it is lighting up very, very nice. All right, but for now, guys, let's go ahead and visualize it. All right. Yep. <sighs> That's awesome. The next step would be to go ahead and put some seal all around it. As you can see, I kind of went over in some spots, but again, you can just get your finger here and just wipe off the extra. Go ahead and align it properly. So what you want to do next is actually a very simple process. Go ahead and just apply some tape over here and it's basically to just hold it in place that's essentially what you're doing with this all right now the other side and what you want to do is go ahead and seal off the little hole that you just made 
All right, guys, so this is what the final end product is gonna look like. See, it's a little messy there, but just as long as you actually try to seal off um, any openings. You don't wanna have any sort of water or anything falling into this. We're gonna go ahead and leave it there so it could seal appropriately. And then in about, uh, I'd say tomorrow, uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the wiring. So let's go. All right, guys, so it's now been overnight. So you'll get four T-taps in the baggie and you'll get four butt connectors. So it's gonna be two per side. And what you're gonna wanna do is now unify positives and the negatives. So over here, the reds, you'll put it with the reds like so. You wanna get a little plier here to like straighten it out. What you're gonna wanna do is slip it inside the butt connector here. That's how the butt connector looks and you're just gonna wanna try to slip it inside as much as you can. So then what you're gonna wanna do is get this tool or something to actually like crush it. You just wanna clamp it down. Okay guys, so now that we unified the two cables together, super, super important. And we're gonna put these over here, set them aside for now. And what we're gonna need next are the T-tap connectors. We can start going ahead and put the tail lights back onto the housing. You can actually go ahead and connect it. What you'll be using is like the taller one that goes to this bulb here. What I suggest is this actually comes a little bit up here and what I suggest is that you peel this off just a little bit. Uh, that way you have a little bit more access and more room. What you guys should do is get a towel and kind of stuff it in there. That way if you drop one of the T-taps by accident it doesn't actually go all the way down and uh, you don't have to wait on Oracle to send you a new one because again these aren't sold in stores. Um, you actually have to order them and then it could take a couple days, who knows with all of the COVID. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna attach the T-taps and they clip on, you just gotta you know press on it a little bit. You're gonna press it onto the black one. So in this side, it's the black one and it's gonna go to like this little purplish type of color. That's the cables that you're gonna be using for today. The green one stays alone. And on this side, you're actually going to do uh, let me see if I can find it here. Actually, it goes over there. So you would actually do it on the black and on the purple one, not the yellow one. Go ahead and start connecting these wires. You're gonna put the black one on the black cable. Okay, that's pretty easy. And these will just slip in. Just gotta give it a little bit of a push. And then the red one will go to the purplish color. Now connect it in place to the light over here. Let's see if it worked. Oh, <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, they are perfect. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. All right guys, so regarding cable management, you know, there's so many ways that you can go about it. Uh, zip, put a zip tie on it. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of just like fold everything, zip tie it around. Once you figured out the cable management situation, it's the same thing again. Make sure that you have the lights in place, you put the chrome piece, and then you actually start to screw the uh, bolts that go back in here. I remember that there's three, one, two, three, one, two, three on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. All right guys, so that is the install section of this video. If you guys found it useful, entertaining, and informative, go ahead and subscribe, like, and uh, go ahead and comment, you know, what did you think of the process? Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and actually uh, get some nice cinematic shots of this car.
keys. 